it's always painted as like Bathsheba was like the innocent. I'm gonna call you on that. Yeah. David was the king. He was right. in his palace. He was out on his roof. We looked and he saw Bathsheba like naked on her roof, right. like tanning. You didn't know the king's palace was next door. Yes. And his terrace was up here. Yeah, you know every eye line between you and that house. And you're just out there bathing <laughs> on your roof. Bathsheba's gonna have a documentary yeah, coming out. <laughs> What's up, everybody? November the 10th. We're out here at the Net Positive Podcast. Dude, absolutely stacked in the studio today. Full house. Everybody's here. Keely's here, the intern. Yep. Uh, Andrew, director of content. Yep. Does, do people don't know. Well, he has a different role in here. What do you mean? When he's on the pod, he's a personality. Yes, and a when producer. He's, yeah, yeah. When yep. he's the producer, when he's not... He's uh, when he's answering emails, he's director of content. Yes. We can't say we have Andrew, director of content in here. Right. That's boring. Many hats. Yeah. Uh, Alex Lagos on the ones and twos. Also, you want to introduce our, our other guest? Do I want to? <laughs> I think you should do that. Well, it's not a guest, really. It's not a guest. Uh, Lydia Fielder, ladies and gentlemen, is in the studio. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Say hi. Give it up. Can you say hi? Yeah. What's going on, everybody? Okay, that's good. Yeah, okay. 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 She refuses. Listen, she... Oh, she this uh, is not even true. Hold on. <laughs> well, I was talking to Keely about this before Leah yeah. came in. Because I said... I Like, I said back in, like... Like, when I was... After I graduated from college, like, I lived in this apartment complex with a bunch of girls, like, from our church and from our, like, community. Yeah. And, like, I would... Sometimes me and our buddy... My buddy DJ would literally go to the... We want to go to the hot tub. Mm -hmm. and we had like our towels around our shoulders and we knock on these girls doors who are our friends because we go to the hot tub and yep. they were like no <laughs> we can't just go a woman cannot just spontaneously get in a bathing suit yeah is that correct uh, i guess so if you're talking about you have to like yeah I can't, well we ask, you gotta like do a lot of things i gotta you gotta get do some up, yeah you can't just theory. get in your underwear and go to the hot tub. Yeah, we just take one pair of shorts off and put another pair of shorts on. Yeah. And then we Keely go. said, I need like a month in advance. Yeah. <laughs> and a little bit. Yeah. What do they have to do? You got to tell. Yeah, she said tan, tan shave. Sh yeah. Shave, so it, she, so Lydia claims that she, she wants to be, she's good with audio. Got but it. But not video. Okay. She doesn't want to be on video. We'll take what we can get. Well, yeah. We decided about it. Yeah, also we decided, said, we're going to do the podcast, and then I said, you should come. So we love here it. we are. We love it. List stacked show, by the way. Happy to be here. Uh, before we get started, um, we we just announced 20 new tour dates. Talk so about it. Absolutely. Let's go. We built this whole, the whole back leg of this tour uh, based on people's comments. Nice. So wherever people were commenting, we're going, we're just going there. Love that. And I've said the same, it's the same way about the pod. Yeah. Like, I've always like the fans will tell you what they like. Yes. Like we talk about tons of stuff. Yep. All day. And whatever like connects with people, that's what we kind of try to like run with. Mm -hmm. Like we've posted stuff and people go, nah, not interested in that. But like, what's, what are the general themes of this pod? Uh, you girls conservative. Yep. That's, that was like on episode four, right? Yeah. yeah. Way back. Um, what else? Uh, do what you want when you pop in. Mm -hmm. Forgive your parents. Uh, protesting. Yep. Things that are like we. But we talk about twenty topics a day. Yeah. And like whatever. Like we we want to be obviously helpful, and we like to uh, contribute to the uh, uh, conversation of society and and people. Anyway, this is where we decided to go because everybody got come to these places. Athens, Georgia. These are all starting in uh, April. Savannah, Georgia. Augusta, Georgia. Asheville, North Carolina. Jacksonville, Florida. Tampa. Fort Myers, Fort Collins. You know what city? You know what uh, state that's in? Fort Collins. Oh, Arkansas. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> so confident, too. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would guess uh, Indiana. Fort Collins is in Colorado. Uh, Grand Junction. Grand <laughs> I Junction. Knew it. Grand Junction. Are you asking? Yeah. Me? <laughs> no, dude, Colorado. Come on, Boise. What's the fort? There's a there's a fort something in Arkansas. What is it? Uh, sure there Fort is. Smith. Fort Smith. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow, dude. He was so <laughs> confident. That was so. That was the most confident I've ever seen. Andrew. Oh, for two, dude. <laughs> uh, Louisville, Kentucky, Washington D.C., Salt Lake City, Colorado Springs. Where's that one? 
Come no, on, Arkansas, baby. actually. No, Arkansas. Steve Beard. Yeah, Colorado State. Uh, <laughs> Sacramento, Fresno. Here we go, Andrew. Thousand Oaks. Oh, California. What? You know that? <laughs> Off the <laughs> dome? He went to school. Oh, you, you did? Yeah. There's like a lot of high school athletes that are from uh, Thousand Oaks. Like yeah, all those yeah. guys, like they always come from Thousand Oaks. Really good Little League baseball yeah, out there, too. Yeah, big. Yeah, that's why I'm going there. That's weird to say. Uh, <laughs> Las Vegas. <laughs> I don't know how the Little League is there. Uh, San Diego and Anaheim, California. Swag. We out here, bro. That's we, a tour. We, we hitting the well. All the other ones, dude. I said, um, like, the tour we have now. This, the, like, these very obscure cities are like selling out for us. Mm -hmm. Like, Chicago, like, New York City. Like, we're good. Yep. We don't sell there. Why is that? We go where the people want us. To. Yeah. Shipshawana, Indiana, can't sell enough tickets Love there, it, dude. dude. Well, build a new out. theater. Yeah, they're like they build it, and we will come. Yeah, literally, the Amish will build. They, I think they're building a the theater just for me to come. There. <laughs> it's like the World Cup when they announce yeah. it like four years in advance. Yeah. They're like, we're gonna start building yeah. now. We'll they're, be ready you, for you. You like Google Qatar? You like? I don't yeah. Think so. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, no, 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 no. Look at the renderings. The you're renderings like, are what you're coming to. Where's the Where's the show? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's in an Amish community, so I don't know if they, I think I have to have, like, uh, you know, like. When, you know when Jesus, I'm not comparing myself to Jesus. A little bit, but though. No, you are, but yeah. You know how Jesus would always preach? Right. He had to have been within earshot. Wait, what? Because there's no mics. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus <laughs> I was like, to, within earshot of what? Yeah, within earshot <laughs> of the people. So he was always, you know where he was? He was always on a hill. Mm -hmm. Like he was on the bottom. Right. And there was a hill. Yep. So that's the easiest way to like yeah. reach the most amount of people. Right. Like, like with that, I have the, the story about... Um, if Bible characters uh, saw therapists, dude, so funny. All right, there's the the one I haven't released yet. It's about David, mm -hmm. how or in Bathsheba. Mm -hmm. So you know the story? No, not Bathsheba well. was like uh, it was like uh, David was the king. He was right. in his palace. He was out on his roof. Yeah, and he looked. Yes, I do know this. Yeah, story. we talked about this. Yeah, and yeah. He, he looked and he saw Bathsheba like naked on her roof, right. like tanning. And he was down bad, so down bad. Shot a shot. That's a different uh, version of the Bible. I don't know where he <laughs> says he was down bad. He was downeth bad. But then, but then you, if you were like in a like, you think about that. Oh, she was in private. Like, wait, there's no binoculars back then. Yeah, he had to have been within fifty yards. Yeah. Less. Yeah. How far do you think, Lydia, to to you should could see a naked woman? I think I needed to say that she was bathing, not tanning. I don't think they just. Uh, okay. Uh, you know, Lydia. All right. This is not. I just say things, and then everyone else in here goes, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." That's how this usually goes. There's no corrections when happening. The fact There's no live fact checking. All right. Welcome um, to the Yes Man podcast. Yeah. Uh, I go, you know what I'm talking about? Everyone goes, yeah. And then we just kind of go from there. So this is kind of new. <laughs> it's a new dynamic. Um, first off, uh, what David asked her, David asked her to go to the um, to the hot tub. <laughs> Which is so inconsiderate, by yeah, the way. She, all right. She was what? Tanning or bathing? Bathing. Why did I say tanning? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, she was like, I was over. I was, And then like the, my joke in the video is like, they're talking to Bathsheba. She's like, I, oh, you didn't know the king lived next door? <laughs> And he had to also have been above you right. to look like if you live in like a shack or if you're like in a, you didn't know the king's palace was next door. Yes. And his terrace was up here. Yeah, you know every eye line between you and that house. And you're just out there bathing <laughs> on your roof. Like it's always painted has like Bathsheba was like the innocent. Mm -hmm. I go, I'm gonna call you on that. Yeah. You didn't know the you didn't know the king. Was like off duty. She's the original thirst trapper. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> she had to. Man. She was in real life thirst trapping. Yeah, she was. She's like, I didn't. And then, and then, like TMZ shows up at her house. I didn't. I was just like bathing. I didn't. Know. I do this for me. Yeah. I okay. I, I post those sun. pics for me. I was stressed. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll post your. I bet she was gonna have a documentary coming yeah, out. <laughs> so this one day. Anyway, uh, we got a lot to get to in the pod. A lot. We were gonna discuss. Uh, we're going to discuss the Liberty documentary, yep. maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe if we get there. Uh, the Kyrie yep. uh, comments, Kyrie Irving comments, maybe. And I have a couple other uh, funny things. I want to get to the uh, Elon Musk and Twitter. No doubt. Also, but top of the list, yep. most important. Right. Controversy yeah. from last week. Huge. The reason why Lydia's in the studio. No, That's not really. She wait, didn't know what? about this. She has to defend herself because I said that she has pet rats. Right. And you said... Some people, and listen, 
I'll defend you for life. You know, I don't know about for life. I just said that on the podcast, but I'll defend. <laughs> like, you know, we're together for like, no. Nah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cut this part out. I'll defend you, but I don't know if I, uh, but you might have to be on your own on this one. Okay, with the rats. preface this with, first of all, I didn't know that's why I was here. So. No, I didn't know either, actually. But yeah, I, yeah, Lydia, I said Lydia might come through the podcast and she goes, oh, we have some, some people have commented. Yeah. So basically last week we said, if you missed last week's episode, um, I said my girlfriend has pet rats right. at her house. And uh, everybody said that was a red flag. Big time. And then. Oh, our, you're acting like you didn't contribute to that. No, I was like, hey, listen, guys, don't talk about my girlfriend like that, please. <laughs> um, yeah. You can check the tape. It's, it's there. <laughs> okay. So what do you what, what do you, first of all do you have do you have any opening uh, comments or should we just get to these comments and you defend yourself? Um, well, I just I do want to start out by saying I have not listened to the things that were said. I have no idea what was. See about. how she just does that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, how I just smart. Do that, yes. That's yeah. smart. Yeah. Um, so first of all, she was bathing, not painting. <laughs> right. I don't know what I'm yeah. about to walk into, but I understand that. Pet well, rats I, is a little jarring, but also John has met said rats. I have met the rats. Okay, so. this is the but, uh, any couple any couple that is gonna is listening to this po uh, podcast is gonna relate to this because we got in like we always get in like we don't really get in fights, but we like sometimes have like disagreements. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah, okay. Like we've ever no, we've never been in a fight, fight, but yeah. fighting, fighting okay. right now, starting a fight right <laughs> <All> now. <right. laughs> I don't want to surprise you with this, but we, we, so we, we flew to, uh, she, Lydia just moved to Nashville. Yep. So she lives in Arkansas for the longest time. So we go, we're flying on a Southwest flight. Mm -hmm. You know where this is going. And she goes, no, I don't. Last time I flew Southwest, oh. I had an assigned seat. I go, no, you didn't. Yeah, no. That's you like, didn't. The, that's their thing. She goes, no. I, I go, no. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> And it was, I was just like, that's the kind of things that we go, we just like, like with the Raisin Cane's thing. Yes. I go, what? And then we just like, no, any couple that's like listening to this podcast is going to relate because we have never had a disagreement of relevance. Like of substance. Of if what, if the, the answer matters. Right. Never once. Right. Never once has like the answer been relevant to anything. Yeah, because yeah. we're not going to so adamantly take sides if we actually want to uh, come to an agreement. Yeah, no. Like, but yeah. she goes, well, I was on, uh, last time I flew Southwest because she doesn't fly Southwest from Arkansas. It never goes there. Mm -hmm. So she would have no. She when, when's the last time you flew Southwest? Two years ago, three years ago. Yeah, uh, I was probably to come see you like nine months ago. Okay. I think I figured it out. I think what? it might have been like a flight operated by Southwest or something because it was out of. <laughs> It was out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I swear. I don't think that. I have never in my life gotten in line Perfect at a, like a, a you got in line. little thing to sort your numbers out. Hey, you're doing well, Lydia. You're doing well. That's very we get foreign it. to me. Yeah, I never so gotten I in a of... line. All right. No. Wow. Well, you didn't either. Yeah, you, I never... you refused. I didn't get in a line. All right. Well, let's just, we'll discuss the rats. And then Lydia can watch the episode in peace. I have questions, yeah. first and foremost, before we even go to any comments. Uh, how long have you had the rats? <laughs> okay. I'll start soft. This is the best episode we've ever had. I just had. have to give a background. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I had legitimate pet rats when I was in height, like ninth grade. Define legitimate yeah. pet rats. <laughs> As so opposed to and then define came, illegitimate pet rats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys. I came by these pet rats, honestly, because I, I wanted them in high school. <laughs> I had three out of, I had one and then she needed a friend. So I got her a friend, Millie and Maisie. And then... Millie died and I was devastated. She's buried in my parents' backyard. <laughs> oh, whoa, this is not helping any of your cause. I don't think the rats need a I'm, friend. I am who I am. Okay, I'm, oh, I've got to own this. <laughs> and I then we got Mocha. Anyway, so <laughs> she was a Dumbo rat. She had big floppy ears like Dumbo the elephant. That's the most excited I've ever seen my girlfriend. And it was so <laughs> <laughs> She was devastated. And then, I was. I was a poor little ninth grader, and I got uh, home, and Millie was dead. And did, wait, all right, so, by myself, and she was my best friend. <laughs> and Maybe this not is not. So, this is not. So this this flack you're receiving here is is new to you because you, this never happened in high school. No one in high school was like, why? No, is, I was like, why so, does the girl from geography class have rats? That never came up. No, it, people knew that I was normal. So then it was like. A, <laughs> uh, hey, Lydia has pet rats. It must be fun. like a thing. Yeah, I was She's, doing a thing. Like I drew, I drove like a little Suzuki, and people called it the like I was. I don't know. It was very. People like, call, don't hey, don't yeah, skip over that. What? <laughs> don't skip over that. People called it the what? She goes. People called it the. Anyway, you get it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know the they dragon because it had like swirls down the side. 
<laughs> what I'm saying is... <laughs> None of this is helping at Dude, all. you're the coolest person I've ever met in my life, and I don't mean that sarcastically. She's like, no, but I was like doing it like ironically. It was a bit. Well, my granddad gave me the car for free, and he yeah. passed it down. He had decals on the side. So anyway, it was just <laughs> a very like, my, like yeah. unique personality, I guess. I don't well, know. Well, it's the same. It, this like I put on this shirt, and yes. Lydia goes, are you doing that like as a thing, or are you like doing that sincerely? <laughs> I had to ask if he really like because you can buy because, guests at like Ross. But that's a, that's like an yeah. ongoing that's like an ongoing thing with us. Like, are you wearing Crocs like to do a thing? Yeah. Or like sometimes I wear like the glasses with no lenses, yep. or like it's usually surrounding like fashion. Yeah. But like if you go to like <clears throat> a NASCAR race or like a uh, let's say something more like a like a rodeo mm -hmm. or like a, a bull riding, or are you like doing a thing? Yeah, is this a bit? Because I need, bit, to, I need yeah. to know how to react to this. Like, are you like doing this? Like in high like, school, ironically, right? Or in high school, I wore instead of Toms. My mom, we didn't want to pay full. I don't, so I'm not trying to like put my mom out here, but we, I wore Bob's by Skechers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Bob's, Bob's does not donate a pair every Bob, time you buy them. Skechers, <laughs> and I think they did. They had when you buy a pair of Bob's, they go down to third world country and take them from a kid. <laughs> they go, yo, who here got Toms? Yeah, actually, yeah we'll take the those. Are like we're the Bob's Bob. That were returned from <laughs> the third world back. country. <laughs> yeah, they're straight from Honduras and they're on my feet. <laughs> they're like, Bob's. yeah, they were they, like literally. They're like, hey. Kids in sweatshops made these. Yeah. We're just gonna say this is this is forced labor. <laughs> they made these. Yeah, it's Bob's. Yeah. So They're anyway, different. so yes, I was that like that but you, but you, personality. But, so I was but doing. But you a knew thing. about Toms. Yes. And so you're wearing yes. them as like, yeah, I know what Toms are. Right, 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 right. But and were I, Toms expensive? The shoes I mean, that for third world I think they're like kids? forty bucks. It's like sixty bucks a and pair. Like made and you're in cloth. ninth grade, and you're growing. Your parents yeah. aren't trying to. Don't bite. try to say that you're yeah, okay, Lydia. Yeah, <laughs> we were growing. Uh, All right. So let's, anyway, let's get to some of the comments. There's honestly not a ton of okay. of comments giving you flack for it, so mm. you well, might good. be better off. But in this studio, we had issues. Yeah. I just I don't understand why you'd choose rats. You know what's annoying about this already, is that people are going to take her side. <sighs> They're gonna be like, we defend her. Well, the reason the rats, I'll finish the story out by saying the rats that I have now, my mom got on Facebook, whatever marketplace, and she was scrolling through and she felt really bad because there's this girl from the U local like laboratory science program trying to get rid of these rats. And if not, they're gonna die or something. And so my mom told her she would take two mm -hmm. and she thought they were gonna be nice and kind and loving like normal. Like normal, like normal, <laughs> you know, okay. like normal. Rats. Also, yeah. if people know about rats, they're actually very smart. They're the cleanest rodents. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. the legitimate yeah. ones. Yeah. The legitimate the rats. Legitimate, yeah, the, yeah. the legit ones. We yeah. bought them at Petco. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so my mom <laughs> goes, I have to tell you something. Um, I got on Facebook Marketplace last night, and I told this lady we would take her rats. So we're going yeah. to pick them up for right now. And mm -hmm. she cornered me at dinner, and so we had to do that. So those rats, hey, they don't have the, names. Hey, playing the victim. They, yep. have, they don't have yep. names. I don't touch them. They're not yep. very nice. Poor things. They're like lab rats. So yep. my mom. They're tortured. Yeah, they're, they're not, tortured. Yeah, so they're not really mine. So they're whenever you come to, my parents house. to talk to them, they're like trying to hide. Yeah. Because they've been yeah. punctured. Stabbed, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Because, so my mom thought she would be doing like, she would think that I would take to them because I used to have rats. Mm. And seven years later or longer, Here now are. they're there at the house and I just leave them alone. Well, so. Courtney Wyckoff uh, Courtney. On, on Instagram says, uh, rats, thick tails gross me out. Okay, yes. That is something you have to get over. The tail is gross. <laughs> oh, what so do you mean? So the, oh, It's like true love. You got to compromise yeah, on some exactly. things. That's what you this gotta, is. That's just the, part of the package. The tail is kind of gross. It's, it is a rat tail. They're cute otherwise. Think of like a little, like a bigger, Don't try to say mouse. like rat, ratatouille. That's yeah, Remy. Think of Remy. Everybody. No, no, okay. Yeah. <laughs> think of Remy. No. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, he had to clean the tail. So when you sometimes. moved to Nashville, you did not bring mm, No. Rats. She wanted to. They're not even my pet this rats. Is a, this is no, a I didn't. Oh, that she doesn't have them currently. Oh, that is big. Yeah, yeah. She wants. Do you want to get them, though? No. You don't want I to. I never wanted them in the first place. When my mom brought them to her house, I said, please give it back. And then she was worried that some, she was going to try to get rid of them and someone was oh. going to feed them to snakes. Yeah, she said, so if she said, hey, on, on Facebook Marketplace, I got two free rats. Mm -hmm. A guy with a python is going to go, I'll pick them up. Yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yes. He goes, I'll be right That's over. That's exactly what happened. I'll be right over. And it. my mom loves animals, so she's. She, so we now we can't get rid of them. We can't get rid of them because she's worried that someone's gonna feed them to their snake. So hey, I, you know, like you know, like uh, 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 
like it, when you sign up to be like a foster parent, they come over and like interview you. Yeah. They're like, Hey, do you like, do you have a nice enough house? Do you like, can you prepare food? Can you like clean and bathe the kids and get no, them to school? No, these people were like, here's the cage and all the toys and all the food, yeah. which is a bit, that's a red flag. No, but I'm saying if you, if you, your mom was trying to get rid of them, uh -huh. she has to go over to the part <laughs> oh, that she right. has to inspect. Is there any like snakes here? Yeah. Is there any snakes here? <laughs> Shout out gonna... Amy Fielder. She yeah. takes care of She's her like, we want the rats. We'll cats. see. Yeah. Well, I'll come over and interview. So with the problems in New York where they're having just rat infestation, are you on the side of the rats? Okay. No. Rats that run around on the street that you see that are giant carrying off children sometimes. Right. Um, those <laughs> are disgusting. The ones in the subway. The those are the rats. illegitimate rats. Those are illegitimate rats. Got it. Do I need to talk about, I can make it quick, how I came by them in the first place? You don't have to explain to us. Go ahead. Yeah. Because you were, you were going to ask that, right? Yeah. The, the first rats or the second? The whole reason was because I was in eighth grade or ninth grade. I was in Petco with my mom, mm -hmm. and she was getting dog food or something. We walked. You know how they have the open uh, – you can look at, like, the gerbils and the chinchillas yep, yep, and the yep. oh, yeah. mice. Well, I was looking, and they have rats. And they're little baby, like small. And my mom goes, huh, Lydia, you want some pet rats? Like as a joke. Wow, and don't, put, don't paint your mom in this light. No, no, no. <laughs> Lydia, you want some pet rats? No, no, no. She was joking, being sarcastic. She's like, <laughs> oh. there you go, Lydia. Would you want a pet rat? And then she walked off. And that whole night, I was like, maybe I do. And oh, then I started my. Googling about rats. And I did this whole research thing. And I told my mom the next day, listen, you can train them. They'll learn their names. They're clean. You can teach them tricks. As as you can do with any other pet. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All these yeah. But we already <laughs> had dogs, cats, birds. Like oh, yeah. oh so it was just next on the list. Guinea pigs. That's the, a that's the next on the progression. Fish. Got it. Yeah. yeah. And so then I told my mom the next day, I was like, I think I want rats. It was like a $10 purchase. And we got them. And she, they all rode around on my shoulder. Yeah. They like. They, <laughs> <laughs> 10 buck they, rats is they pretty good. They their yeah. names. That's They're like, great. It's like it when you get like a tattoo. Like, where do you start on tattoos? You start on the ankle with like a, <laughs> like some ivy for a girl. Yeah, I was gonna say no, you don't. <laughs> and then and then you go to like, well, let me get one, uh, top half somewhere. Mm -hmm. You if you and the, ribs. And then ultimately, <laughs> if you keep going, you're gonna go post Malone. Uh -huh. <laughs> you're gonna go teardrop on the face. Yeah, barbed wire across yeah. the forehead. That's a wrap. Okay, that, that's, I get it. That's what I you get, get it now. You, no one starts with a rat. Right. No one goes, I want to get a rat. But in the, what she's saying is the progression of yeah. animals. Animal people, I'm sure, will will be on board with you. So it's only a red, rats are only a red flag if you start at if rats. If you start at rats, yeah. Okay. Also, they're not just like plain and brown. Like Millie was white with brown spots. Oh, okay. Maisie was a rex not, rat. These are like artisanal rats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're these breeds. I don't know what They're that word breeds. means, but that sounds like that's what they are. Maisie had curly blonde <laughs> hair. Rats. Yeah. yeah. And then Mocha was a Dumbo rat. Like I said, she there had you big floppy ears. If yeah, you I, Google Dumbo rat, it's actually super cute. I will. Jury search still out. Dumbo uh, rat. Yeah. You pull it up and Boom. it's. Uh, what else did we. Um, See, look how cute that. Oh no, don't go to that's that. That's a mouse. One. That one. That one. That's what she looked like. Okay. Yep. I feel just that. Just like that. All right. That's not what yours look like, but yep. I can feel. That yeah. Well, that's not what the one my because the I lab never, rats my mom. Because I never to seen them because they're buried inside the thing and they never come out. <laughs> they're uh, terrified. What else we got on the news, buddy? All right. We're good on that then. No, we're not good on it. Oh, also, we got to. Uh, we'll do it at the end of the episode. <laughs> yes. Uh, absolutely groundbreaking. The biggest news we've ever had in the history of this spot. We cannot forget that. Yes. Okay. We won't. We'll get we won't to it. We'll forget that. Right. Um, we put out, uh, the, we're look, always looking for the net. What's the net positive in the rat situation, by the way? Um, it's good for the rats. It's good for the rats. We're There's, saving rats. The rats are still alive. Yeah. You know what? We're just exposing people to other ways of life. Mm. All right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Perspective. Sure. Perspective. Okay. So sure. we have, we, we, we put out uh, this week on my Instagram. It was like, hey, if you have a situation mm -hmm. that you're looking for the net positive in. Because mm -hmm. that's what we try to do. Right. We're looking for the net positive. You, we, the video submissions are open. Yes. And available. Wide open. And we got a, a significant amount. Yes, we did. And we're going to talk. One of them, we're going to get to the end of the episode. Mm -hmm. Absolutely my, absolutely groundbreaking. Mm. The, <laughs> best, the best information I've ever received on this I'm podcast. I'm so excited. All right. Yeah. Other things we got to get to before we go. Uh, oh, did you see that SNL? I wrote down the SNL. There's an SNL bit. Look it up. Okay. About uh, big dumb hats. This is what, like, we've talked about this before. Um, all right. There it is right there. You don't, we don't have to discuss it. Sure. We don't have to watch it. All right. So SNL did this bit about basically like girls in, in fall. Oh, I'm in. I'm, I'm so in on this topic. Uh, okay, yeah. All right, Already. You pause it. So it's like Amy Schumer. Somebody, it's like, all right. 
what SNL, what SNL, like, did we've been covering this topic on socials? Yes. For seven years. Yes. Seven years. That that is a hack topic. Yep. Like we like, and I wouldn't even take credit for it. I think I've the girls, girls in fall. I think I've. Trey. Yeah, Trey. Yeah, Trey. He's Sorry. he. I was gonna say that Trey's like the leader of it. I've done girls in fall like. There's an there's a, a Instagram. I would probably say six years ago, seven years ago. I was like, we love bonfires, and yeah. we love scary movies, and like pumpkins, like and that like SNL is so. It's like I always say, like people like, hey, get like a CPA because the CPA <laughs> is going to do your taxes better than the government. Yeah, the government cannot close the loopholes fast enough that the people can move. Yep. So the people go, oh, we're going to do this. And like three years later, there's legislation that finally blocks that. And the people are going to be ahead of it. Always. Always. And that's what television has fallen behind. Mm. Because so we've done that. Yeah. That's not a, like the influencer hat. I've made that video yes. four years ago. Yeah. And now they're like, oh, like the internet is like, Saturday Night Live is like catching up. Are to they it. getting dragged for this? This is so dumb. They're getting crushed for it. Yeah. Good. Well, it's not funny, first of all. No. But like, I go, what? What? That's why, like, the socials. We like, uh, we I I make all these sketches on the internet. You know. Yeah. All these internet sketches, and I, we I've talked about this before. My agent, I go, I want to have like a uh, a Key and Peel or like a Chappelle show type show. Mm -hmm. He's like, so we're gonna have four sketches a show. We're going to put, and it's going to be on like CMT or Comedy Central on Thursday night at 8.30. Mm -hmm. He goes, that's like going back in time. Yes. He's like, you you get millions more video, views now, and you can make it, and it can be, remember we talked about that guy that made the, the Queen Elizabeth joke? The next day. The next day. day. The yeah. next day. He goes, Queen Elizabeth died. What did he say? Um... A fentanyl. 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 <laughs> it's just it's getting everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if you made a Queen Elizabeth joke now, it's it's done. It, so you're like, like I would have, you should look up, can we look up um, the weekly Saturday Night Live schedule? Would that be on the internet anywhere? Like if something happens on Tuesday, is that too late for the Saturday show? Does that make uh, sense? Oh, like when they go in to shoot all this stuff? I would, yeah, the dress rehearsal is on Friday. The final right is probably Thursday. Yeah, I mean they got to be at least a week behind. They have. I mean, it's if something TV. happens that week, can they get it on that weekend's show? I don't know. I here's here's the real answer. I don't know. I don't know because I, I don't know. watch. I don't, yeah, so, nobody does. Nobody does. And I think if they were getting things on the same week, I'd watch. I think I know about it and I'd watch. So there's no way they can. There's no way. And and then like we we made a joke. We I, I was already um, Last night, I did a joke at New Material Monday on at Zany's yeah. about going to vote. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'm doing Dayton this weekend. I go, I'd have to put, I'd have to do the joke this weekend and then put it up. Mm -hmm. Because next week, it's done. Right. And I said, hey, did you, are y'all going to vote tomorrow? I did early voting. And last night, it was topical. And it's gonna, it's that, it's expiring. Yep. But if you're like, I have this voting bit. And then I do, like, if I have a Comedy Central show, before the season, you go, I'm going to do these 25 sketches. Mm -hmm. And they have to be very evergreen because they can't be topical. Right. So then, like, any, any that's why any, uh, like, sitcom you see. Yeah. It's like, just now they're starting to have, like, Trump jokes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or, like, it, like, dude. Yeah. We're way past that. Yeah. This and you're like it's definitely seven years ago in the city because that was like twenty fifteen when the influencer boom was going on. Yeah, like, like blogger it, hats and it's not exclusive done. to just comedians doing stuff. No. Everybody talks about that. It's done. Yeah. It's like like what what when you I've talked about this before. When I go, I just I would like to ask everybody in here, when you go check into a hotel, do you turn on the TV? Keely? You do. And what would he like? Would he look on your phone or no? Do you like switch to go through the TV to like for something to watch? You do instead of your phone. You don't like it. All right. What do you do? Uh, I just put it on ESPN and then look at your phone. Yep. Andrew, go to ESPN. That's what I do. I go to the Golf Channel during the day, ESPN at night. Yep. And and then lay out. Sometimes like if the TV like remember like you used to see like uh, 
like this, like on the interstate, there was like HBO, like on the, for the hotel. Yeah. They were like motel HBO refrigerator. Yeah. Now if like the TV didn't work, I don't think I'd go to the front desk. Well, now they all just say free Wi-Fi. Yeah. Cause that's what, what do the people do, want. I don't, I don't ever usually turn the TV off. Unless it's you don't even turn it on. There you go. Yeah. Also, I don't mean to put you out again, Lydia, <laughs> but that's why you're here. So Lydia goes, Who's Herschel Walker? I, I did not say who is Herschel Walker. That is so false. At the forefront, I go, it was what? A political candidate, Herschel Walker. Yeah, because she's like, oh, that's the guy running for. I go, the Heisman Trophy winner? No, oh, he's running. I said the Heisman. Right, right, right. He Keely, do you know who that is? Oh, my. Dude. I don't know who it is. Wow, dude. Just you and me out here? <laughs> yeah, we out here. Well, you are. You have a few years. Old. Yeah, a few years. Dang, dude. No, Herschel. Yeah. All right. Well, the, the, like, that's a, like, the point of like, uh, Somebody tagged me in it because they're like, John, you're a bit. Mm -hmm. I go, that's not, first of all, it's not good. But like. The half I, thing you're talking about. Yeah, with the Saturday Night Live. Yeah. I go, what, do you, and no disrespect, it's, it's hard to be a comedian. It's yeah. hard to make jokes for a living. So yeah. anybody that's a writer on Saturday Night, I think we have a friend, KC, uh, Shore Nima, that's been on my shows that is a writer on Saturday Night Live. Cool. Hopefully she didn't write this bit. Because <laughs> I do like KC a lot. But I go, this it's is also like their hands are tied. Also hands are tied. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so it's 100%. like Casey could come up with an unbelievable yeah. bit and they could have yeah. said, eh, we got to go with hats. It's safe. Yeah, we got to go with hats. Yeah, we got to. We're doing hats. Yeah. This week. Yeah. yeah. I can't I imagine how many advertisers like are on NBC. Oh, my God. That you're like, man. nope, 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 mm -hmm. nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Which is also uh, why the Internet's great. Yeah. It's it's not the most democratic, but it's it's it's. it's there's less hands in the pocket. Yeah, it's more meritocracy. That's a better way to say if it. If it's good, it does and well. And somebody says something like you're like we always say this, like somebody's like, dude, that is just an unbelievable. I can't repost this, mm -hmm. but like I'm gonna send it to my buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you're like, gosh. Like somebody sent my buddy uh Justin Nunnally, he sent me a TikTok and he goes, Go to the comments. And it's just <laughs> I've I feel like some of the greatest things I've ever done in my comedy career or bits I've ever posted that have been the most, I will never touch the brilliance that is the TikTok comments. Section. They're better than the content. A lot of the time, my gosh, dude, he's just, I just like, dude, I can't, I, can't. I don't know if I've ever watched a TikTok without going to the comments. hundred percent. Like that's, that's part of the experience. And, and sometimes if one's like something's on your feed and the comments, you're like, I, I don't I think I know where these comments are going. Mm -hmm. It's only there because of the comments. Yes. Unbelievable. Um, you posted something, uh, your car note. Oh, yeah. The note that yeah, you yeah, found yeah, in your yeah. car. Can we talk about that? Yeah, you said you had I've some. I've been dying to hear about this. Okay. I posted, so I have a 1989 uh, Mustang Fox body yep. that's painted as the color of American flag. Mm -hmm. Flames that are in the color of American flag. Like uh, Lydia's car oh, like, from high school. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Similar. Yeah, yeah. Apple yeah. doesn't fall far. Similar. <laughs> I yeah. get it now. Uh, now I get it. The, the dragon. Who the apple? Who's the apple falling? You from me? <laughs> Weird. Ew, I don't like that. Uh, wrong expression. <laughs> hey, hey, that's how that's how podcast goes. We don't edit it. Hey, it's here it is, man. There. Yeah. Take uh, us or leave us. So, okay. Well, there's there's context that you don't know. Okay. Okay. So I was going down to the uh, All American 400, which is the the NASCAR or not the NASCAR, but the, the auto racing or my car. Yeah. And I go, I want to drive the Mustang down there. Mm -hmm. So we drove it down there. To, it's right next to uh, the sound or the uh, soccer field. Yeah. So, you know, like that, that dog park right there on the corner. Yeah. It's huge. Okay. In that huge, uh, there's that huge uh, area, like soccer field. Mm -hmm. So that's the parking. Mm -hmm. So I drove onto there mm -hmm. to park. And then, the car died <laughs> on Saturday night. So Perfect. the car's dead. It won't start. Great. So I walked home. But now, so Sunday morning, you have like soccer league out there. Yep. And there's this. <laughs> <laughs> this stars and stripe flame car yes. just parked. <laughs> Only thing out there in the middle of this, in the middle of, it's not in the middle of the soccer field. The kids probably showed up and were like, cool. They're like. <laughs> But I got it. But I got to go. All right. If you're like, if you let people park out here and it's a, it's a, it's a auto race, you have to assume somebody's going to get drunk or the car, a car is going to still be there. Yeah. The next morning. But yours was the only one. Only one. And it was gated <laughs> off. Yeah. 
And so the notes, so I got to the car and then the next day to try to jumpstart it. And, and there's a note on there mm -hmm. that said, what did it say? Do you have it or do I have I it? I don't have it. Okay. It but said, it was, it was a, it looks like a little sticky note or a little, it was a little, it was on, paper. well, a lot of people had a million comments cause it was on notebook paper. Mm -hmm. And the notebook is said, cool mm -hmm. car. You must be a true patriot. Written in? In, uh, on, in, uh, with a marker. What, what color? Purple. So cool purple car, marker. exclamation point, you must be a true patriot. Mm -hmm. And I said, do y'all think this is sincere? Right. Or sarcastic? Right. And the comments were out of hand. Dude, it could go either way. This is this is why I DM'd you and was like, "Yo, we have to talk about this. This could yeah, go yeah. either way." And I I thought about it a okay. lot. All yeah, weekend. I know. So did I. All right, what do you have to say? It could go the way of genuine. It is a cool. They do think it's a cool car. They do think you must be a true patriot because w that's the only type of person who's leaving a note on your car. On a car. All right, I have it right here. Okay, I'll send it to you. Yeah, we'll put it on. But that. it's we'll, cool we'll car it. exclamation point. You must be a true American patriot on yeah. notebook paper that is torn off. And so this is the, the, what they had uh, resources to them. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it, again, it's, it, it's at now the <laughs> soccer stadium, if it's the next morning, is very uh, progressive. Uh, but Saturday night, right. it's hillbillies, right. rednecks. Right. And, and that car, by the way, is me doing a thing. Mm -hmm. That's one of those. That's a thing. Yeah. Then Liddy, I think you asked me that too. I go, I'm going to buy this Mustang. She's like, for like a thing? Mm -hmm. Or like, <laughs> where do you actually? But I, the line is blurred because I do like the At car. At this point, you don't know? I don't know either sometimes. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know why. But yeah. you did tell me how you dressed to go get it. Oh, I dressed in like a, that. in like a, yeah, in like oh, a cutoff. Right. I listened to that episode. In like a cutoff flannel. And like, with, I had my, brought my gun. Yeah. Yeah. But I do. <laughs> yeah. On the other hand, this is written on a piece of notebook paper. Piece of notebook paper. On, with purple. P with purple. purple marker, which, I don't know, that sounds like somebody who might carry a notebook to write daily affirmations. Daily. And oh, yeah, it might yeah, be yeah. more of a progressive person. Because red pen and in is, that case, red it's sarcastic. Is, red is too aggressive. Right. Because I've heard that, that they use purple to grade kids' papers now because red, they're going to have like a... a Ooh. That was on my first comedy special oh. ever. The red, they're going to have like a, a complex by seeing oh, red. Oh, interesting. And they're like, it's too like negative. So purple is like more inclusive hmm. of a color. Okay. So we're just I, choosing to ruin purple instead of red. Yeah. Nice. All right. All right I purple. guess. <laughs> Basically, what we need to what we need to decide if we go into the head of this person. Yeah. And if it was written on Saturday night, mm -hmm. it's sincere. I think Sunday morning, coming out to the soccer game. Why is this American flag car in in the the, the on the field? Yeah. We have to kick around. So this it car. comes. It comes. Yeah. yeah stay there it comes down to when was the note left? when was the note written because we had to go we had to get a, a tow truck to go on to the field <laughs> Did i didn't to go stop to the no, soccer game my i i'll be honest i made my assistant i didn't make her go do it <laughs> but i go i don't want to be a part of that <laughs> I don't know why you keep saying we. Was, no i did was, i go hey you gotta get this car towed off the soccer hey, field uh, i'm not going down there on monday afternoon when yeah. the kids are practicing <laughs> We're like hey sorry Hey, I don't know what you thought you were doing for hey. your Sunday, but this is what you're doing. Tonight. You must be a true American patriot. Was it interrupting or in the way of their practice of their games? And people had to park around it and stuff? A thousand percent that is a sarcastic. Kind game. of. It, no, it was off to the side. You didn't have to, like, kick around it. Wow, to, bro. Like, this is our field and our... This is cool car. You must be a true patriot, You must be a dude. true patriot. That's yeah. Exactly. <laughs> was it Sparkly Joe? Mm, no, I, I looked for that, Joe. too. I tried yeah. to see. No, it's Sparkly it Joe. college student. I thought more. Yeah, because the guy, the mm. guy that thinks this is sincere, doesn't have a purple marker. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like a small size. That's a small size notebook too. I'm a I'll text this sheet. to you. Guys. I'll text this to you guys to put in the. Yeah, uh, we'll put uh, it in the episode. Yeah, you must Everybody be true. It. Let us know what you think, everybody. All right, cool car. You must M capitalized B capitalized a true capitalized American patriot. So it's like the title of a book. Mm. Cool car, he must be a true American patriot. I'm, I'm taking it as You should name your special that. Yeah, true American <laughs> patriot. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> Speaking of yeah. America, uh -huh. this is not a very good segue, but I wanted to talk about uh, uh, Elon Musk and Twitter. Yeah. Dude. What's your take? Okay, well, I don't really have... It's getting wild. It's getting wild. All right. 
Twitter is wild, but I don't really want to the, the, you say what you want about Elon Musk. Sure. I, I don't think I'm, I'm here to get into the weeds of that. Yeah. But what I want to roast and other people have done this is the celebrities, the, the, the ce <laughs> celebrities are the worst, dude, the worst. Like, how can I make this situation about me? <laughs> and like, all right, I, I've I've been guilty of this myself, mm -hmm. and I think all of every, people in my uh, uh, fans of mine, people on this podcast, my agents, my people on our PR team, yep. like, you know who the only person on our entire team to keep referencing my cancellation is? Who? Me. Mm. No one cares. Yep. They don't. It was it was like a traumatic situation for me. Right. Everyone in they go. All right. Yeah. Everyone. It was at, part of our job. Yeah. Everyone. <laughs> yeah. We handled it. Yeah. Like everyone at the show. I mentioned it at the show. People come to the meet and greet all the time. Like, dude, we had no idea. We had to Google that. Yeah. Because I live in my world. Yeah. All day. Mm -hmm. All day, every day. And like, I think by default, we all probably do this on some level. We think everyone else lives in our world. Absolutely. Like I had a buddy. that Main goes, character energy. Yeah. Big main character. That's a good way to say it. Like. My buddy goes, if I don't, if I don't, if my, one of my TikToks doesn't do well, I go back in and delete it. Mm. Because as if everybody's scrolling your feed, tracking your stats. Hey, you see, uh, you see John's TikTok this week? It flopped. Flop? Like, that? no one's doing that. <laughs> Only did 180K views. No, who would, like, <laughs> but we, d we do that. Yes. But so you think other people are doing that. Right. People go, I, the people at the show go, I don't know. I like a couple of John's videos and then he announced that he was coming to Memphis and I was like, I live in Memphis and I looked at my calendar and I'm free that night. I was like, I'll go. <laughs> That's it. Simple. That's it. Yeah. And if he said something wildly out of pocket, I might be like, oh, I'll sit this one out. I'll maybe go next year. Yeah. But that's, that's like, it. After every comedy show, people leave and go, you want to go to Red Door? Yeah. Like there's not, I'm breaking down my whole set. Yes. Like I had, a, and but other people are not. I had a joke last night on the show about I go, you know that trans uh, swimmer. Yeah. That he, he was, a, and I was like, well, I go, I have some jokes that don't work. I'm gonna identify as female for this bit mm -hmm. and do the joke. Yep. But I'm I, I'm a female. Right. And it, it a bit bombed. Right. But <laughs> of course it did. Right for sure. Yeah. It did, of course. Yeah, yeah. Right, we never talked about that. Yeah. <laughs> No, I didn't. Do, but then, uh, but there's a two jokes that that are new that I liked and they worked, and I'll build those out this week and I'll take them to Dayton. Yep. But no one else. They're got that guy. That last guy was funny. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Can I get another margarita, please? Yes, dude. Yeah. And <laughs> what about my cheese dip, yeah. dude? Do you have any? Do you have any honey mustard yeah. back there? So these celebs are doing that, making the, it all about. Them. Well, okay. These celebrity, all these like. And I'm not here to judge anybody's like uh, letter of celebrity, like A list, B list, C list. Sure. I, 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 but <laughs> but we might. <laughs> celebrities starting to leave Twitter after Elon Musk's takeover. Yeah. I never heard of any of these people. <laughs> and also, and also, before we get into these people, well, all right. <laughs> like, Elon Musk is big. <laughs> To everybody. Yeah, dude. To everybody. Yeah. Uh, like this one, this one says You never heard of this person? This person? So this is this is a tweet from Shonda Rhimes. Okay. Who's that? She's one of the biggest showrunners, I think, of all time, right? Okay. She like owns Thursday night on ABC. Okay. She created Grey's Anatomy. Okay. She says, not hanging around for whatever Elon has planned. Bye. As uh, uh, with with the the gall of someone that that thinks Elon Musk has a staff meeting, he goes, guys, 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 guys. Yeah, hold on. Before we go with this new content moderation policy, before we talk about free speech, let's get to the Shonda Rhimes tweet. Yeah, like again, I don't know her, but she lives in her. Uh, but I I'm a victim of it too. Live in your own world. Yep. And then you like, and not even not even a. Uh, not even a stance of what she likes or doesn't like. Yeah. Just not, not sticking around to see, <laughs> dude. I'm not sticking around to see. 
buy. Yeah, just I'm out. Because because Elon Musk says something that's not within within your box mm -hmm. of safety. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, th not sticking around for whatever this is. Buy. <laughs> just imagine posting that, dude. <laughs> These are the same people, by the way, that says if Donald Trump gets elected, I'm moving to Canada. Yeah. I would wonder if you went through Shonda Rhimes' tweets if she's if she tweeted. She something did. Like that. She did. You don't have to go a back. A lot of and people look. did. Like, like, hey, like, and I listen. I'll tell you this. I like in 2019. I've thought about. I have 175 thousand Twitter followers, something like that, mm -hmm. and I haven't. I don't. I'm not super active on there anymore. I've thought about in times when it was not the PR was not good for me on Twitter making this announcement mm -hmm. i have thought about it yep but then i'm gonna backtrack that right when something pops off on there just you can just when you need it go dark for a second put delete it off your phone i've done that for months at a time yeah D it's fine well what about the fact that this is even being covered that's where i get annoyed because people are gonna people People like are gonna people. That's dude. what like that's what we're gonna do. Because yeah. you know there's also people with two followers out there people tweeting these exact people. things too. Yeah. But they're not getting reported. And what yeah, what I don't know why we care what people, people think. People are gonna people. Why do we care? It's the same with the it's same with the it's same with the protest. Yes. Yeah. Why people do we are care gonna what people, people think? Because they, they 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 haven't forgiven their parents. They're going through a tough time. I don't know how to speak to that person specifically, but sure. Okay, well Sarah by oh, Sarah great song by the end. Yep. On the sand is say and the wheels fall off. Promise me. Oh, that's not I the that's not the Sarah you. Bella song. I know. Be brave. Oh, yeah, be brave. Yeah, that yeah, song yeah. rules. Yeah, that's her, right? She did. Yeah, she did. I love, love song too. Love song. Say oh, what you want to say. I messed that all up. And the wheels fall off. Let the words fall out. Let the words fall out. <laughs> yeah, let the, <laughs> yeah, let the, the say fall what out. you want to say. Let the words fall out. Promise oh, me. Okay. Honestly, promise me I want to see you be free. Be brave. All right. Well, yeah. That song does rule, though. All right, gonna, what did she say? We're going to get copyright struck. That was well, yeah, so good. Oh, yeah, yeah. They got uh, some right on it, To your defense, I don't know who any of these other people are. All right. Hold on. What did, what did, what did Sarah Bar Barriella say? Sarah Barella says, Sarah. Welp, it's, it's been, been fun, Twitter. <laughs> I'm out. See you on other platforms, peeps. Sorry. This one's just not for me. Heart emoji. Oh, prayer hands emoji. Please. This one's just not for me. Sarah, you're right. It's not for you. It, yeah. Based, ba ba but this is what the plan was, by the way. This yeah, is, also, I think, what Elon yeah, wants. Yeah, yeah he hey, wants all of hey these people to leave. Remember when Dave Chappelle like said all that stuff that was like triggering to trans people, and then they like protested. Like that was his plan. Yeah, that and was his. Everyone plan. watched the special. Hey, yeah. yeah. Hey, remember when like Donald Trump said some things that were like out of pocket, and then everybody on the left was like, "I'm offended by this. I want to go like." Yeah, mm -hmm. you did exactly what he was hoping you would do. Yep, be triggered. Unfortunately, and Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah, he's had. Listen, <laughs> I'm a comedian, and he has uh, said some things that are out of pocket for sure. Way out of pocket. Yeah, the first comment on this post is yeah. quote celebrities. <laughs> That's, that's 421 that's the, most, that's the embarrassing part yeah, yeah right. who are these quote celebrities right. leaving famous question mark every oh, comment classic. is like who Gosh, are these people? that's so embarrassing <laughs> all right this this first one uh tia leone. tia leone hi everyone all right well let's stop there let's stop there <laughs> on your first hi everyone okay like it's a mass email yeah, yeah. And the, like the world <laughs> hi is all like, what does tia leone have to say hi everyone <laughs> Let's see what Ja Rule has to say. Hey, let's, see ja Rule. <laughs> let's see what Ja Rule, the famous Dave Chappelle line. I'm coming off Twitter today. Let's see where we are when the dust settles. Meaning, might be back. I'll be back, dude. I'm gonna leave that door open. I'll just be in case. back. Hey, let's just let's let's. Just, can we have a uh, uh, days since Tia Leona has tweeted? <laughs> Put that down. Write that down somewhere. Okay. Days since Tia Leone has tweeted, and we'll see how long until she's back. Do you want this? Was a uh, she tweeted that on October 29th at 11:06 a.m. Do you think she's tweeted since then? Guarantee. Guarantee. Oh no. I'm gonna say no. You say no. I'm gonna go All right. That's not that long ago. Oh my. Guarantee. I don't know. What do you say? Nope. Her account does not exist. Wow. So she's sticking to it. Okay, so you how, what do you, you can delete it? Yeah. You can archive your account. Yeah, because some guy, there was this guy that got um, canceled for something, and he's like, he is gone. Yeah. 
which is soft. To so just straight delete? To just delete. And the ter- I, th- I will say to delete your account and to uh, turn off comments. Mm-hmm. Soft. Turning off comments is dumb. Soft. Yeah. Because you, th- that's, you, like, it, it, I hate to say it, but, like, don't play with adults then. Mm-hmm. Don't play with adults. Yeah. <laughs> really? Or these kids are bigger than you. Yeah. Dude. These kids are bigger than you. <laughs> Sorry, you can't play with the big kids. Yeah. What's the guy's name from? Is that Christian? Oh, I can't even think of it now. It's the Christian um, website that he, like, it's, like, very, like, woke and like progressive and then like the, like the woke the woke i hate to use the word woke because i don't even i don't but the, it, it it comes for everybody eventually it's coming for oh, you yeah. It's, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It, it, it like cannibalizes itself right like no one's too you can't be too far ahead of it it'll mm-hmm. it'll it'll come for you yeah and they came for him and then he just like gone <laughs> he's like <"What? laughs> you're gone or when you post something that that, that i feel like Sometimes people like moderate their comments. I do know some pastors, Lydia, for sure, that moderate their comments, that delete ones that are like, come on, bro. Really? Yes. You think of, or no? We don't have to mention any names. Yeah. But. Uh, yeah, I feel like you and I have been trolling and like doing stuff. It's, yeah, I, but then, but then. Because there's no opposition out of millions of people who follow. No, right. but I leave. Uh, I leave all mine. Yeah, I've, I've. Every once in a while, I'll say one that when it's usually when it's about someone else in my video, that's like an actress that they sent something inappropriate about them. You defend. I delete it, but it's yeah. also this is my. You, I can do whatever I want. It's my page. Yeah. If it's gonna hurt, that's something that's untrue, and I don't. But you can. I. You can. But the there. Someone says I don't like this video or this guy's stupid or this that, that not funny. Mm-hmm. I let. I leave that up. Yeah. Is that yeah. Cause they're gonna, cause that just makes them look dumb. <laughs> it really does. Yeah. But like the, the, these. Oh no! What do we got? Another one. Ken Olin says, "Hey all, again. Hi yeah. everyone. Yeah. Hey, hey all. all. Yeah. Very, they they all start like that. Uh, okay. I'm out of here. No judgment. Let's keep the faith. Let's okay. protect our democracy. Let's try to be kinder. All things. All things. Uh, all the way. There's no opposition to all these things. No one's mad at this. No. Yeah. Let's, Let's try, try to, to save the planet. Good. Let's try to be more generous. Good. Let's look to find peace in the world. Good. Yeah, good, good, Ken. Good, 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 yeah, yeah, Ken. Uh, great, 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 great. What when does I'm this have of- to do with Twitter? <laughs> and also, based on what? Based on what? He wasn't even. T- <laughs> he wasn't even talking about Twitter. He just tweeted this, and they were yeah. like, "Yeah, that's part of the roundup." Yeah, let's I'm put out that here. in the post. <laughs> like, this might be like, like he 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 was like a, uh, he quit his job. Yeah. Like, oh, I thought this was about Twitter. <laughs> You're like, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Because because. You he just like left Sam's Club yeah. at Walmart and was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> He's like, no, no more judgment. Keep the faith. Let's protect our democracy. God, got it, got it, got it, got it, got cool, it. Cool, 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 cool. I don't even know. I don't know who that guy is. But no, I don't know who that but is. But we're not. But we're not making fun of. Uh, the point of this is is the the self absorption. Yeah. That we're all these things are are good. Yeah. But you go, hey, like what is what does Ja Rule have to say? Yeah. Yeah. Or. Do something about it then. Do something. Elon about bought it. a company. Yeah, he was straight up. What he, can he, you and your rich friends do? He finessed. Sure, free you guys could have pulled together some money and bought something. My guy like, bought free speech. Do something. Yeah, yeah. and also <laughs> free speech. <laughs> free speech isn't free. It costs forty-four billion dollars. I mean, oh, it's free speech. <laughs> Yo, free speech is gonna cost you eight bucks a month. <laughs> but listen, I think the the what his plan like Twitter first of all can only go up. Yeah, every it's so so toxic for sure. So you can it's like, hey, I, I bought uh, what's the company that was like at Z like somebody bought it at like somebody bought Blockbuster like well, GameStop. It's, it's at nothing. Yeah, and so if you can make this better, mm-hmm. what's her name will come back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here until the dust settles. Okay, yeah. Elon Musk said something that doesn't line up with my box. Mm-hmm. Speaking of comments, by the way, um, this might be a little bit of a sensitive topic. I don't know if this is a funny necessarily, but mm-hmm. uh, um, Aaron Carter. Yeah, dude. Yeah, passed away. Really sad. Suicide, very sad. Do you know what's even sadder? Sad. And I'm happy you brought this up yeah. because, first of all, rest in peace and condolences to his yep. family, obviously. Yep. Uh, what I think is most sad is that he was kind of a meme that people were poking fun at yep. for the last like year because he had kind of come back into 
like media oh, he'd and kind, everything. Kind of come back. People were making fun of him all mm-hmm. the time, calling yep. him a crackhead and all this type of stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now that he's dead, yeah, there's a lot of like, wow, remember Aaron Carter when he was 15 and yeah, he yeah, had this yeah. song about blah, blah blah, and they've yep. completely sh- like switched, switched, and yeah. it's like you couldn't have given that man his roses when he was alive. And that's yes. so messed up. Yeah, and you like. All of those, like, obviously, like, all of the, like, comments where people post on my stuff, like, like, I don't, this is, obviously, you can't do this, but, like, all the comments, all the comments about him mm-hmm. that people have said, and I feel like, and again, we, we are probably also guilty of this, mm-hmm. that we've said things about people yeah. that we would be, quote, haters. For sure. We would be on the other side. Yes. Right? Yes. So, but... This guy is uh, is uh, all the things that they've said about him. All those commenters just like get their name and their address and just like, hey, mm-hmm. Aaron Carter says publicly that these things are very hard for him. Mm-hmm. That these comments, same thing, the same topic we're talking about Twitter. Like, I'm under the impression that everybody we always talk about will hear this. Mm. Somebody, because that's how that's how podcast people. Somebody said that they were talking about me on uh, uh, Two Bears One Cave, mm-hmm. and people sent it to me. Yep. And the guy that we've talked about his meme account, this the the co- comedian, he goes, "Hey, thanks for the kind words you said about me on your podcast." Because mm-hmm. people listen. Yeah. And they send it to the person, right? Because people are gonna people. Yeah. So like, I have to be. I want to be honest about what I think and about society and, and, and ribbing people for doing that's all we do on this podcast. Yeah. It's fun. But I would, I would dare to say that I would probably look those people in the eye and say that. Yeah, I would. Yeah. And, and joke, joke about people and their, it's in jest. People yeah. being silly. Yeah. But some of those comments that people have said about Aaron Carter and the, he, he's taken his life mm-hmm. and to go back to all those people who are like, Hey, like when people say things about me that these people are like, I know when people are trying to be funny and trying to tear me down. Mm-hmm. I know the difference. Yes. I know the difference in a comment where you're like, oh, John, it wasn't. Yeah, when it's clever and when it's just mean. Yeah, when it's just mean. Mm-hmm. And and like, not if you're like a believer in like God or, or like, you're going to have to like, I think, be accountable for those comments. Yeah. That you've made. Yeah. Not that... But I think it's more so. It's just like, what, like, what are you trying to accomplish? Yeah. And like, I again, people are gonna people. people so are gonna people. I'm, I'm more so talking about like media outlets. Yeah. Who yeah. have pushed yeah, e- this? I saw, I saw it on uh, ET. Yes. Or TMZ. I saw that this morning. And then they said somebody in the comments is like, y'all. Yeah, you've been dragging y'all him for dragged years. Dragged him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't come on this other side. Like you're an accomplice in in this. Yes. Like, but they're like, we're just we yeah. just cover the news though. You're like, so and so's in hot water. I was like, because of this article. Yeah. You yeah. put him in people on Twitter have been saying you put him in this water. Yep. Yeah. And not that And now he's gone. And like yeah. that's it, by the way. Yeah. It's over. So and he was, doesn't see all of this yeah. stuff. And I'm sure and this doesn't make his family feel any better. No. And it sounded like it sounded like the, the things that he was going through were horrific. Mm-hmm. I, I, even outside of comments that like he, the, the very, very hard situation I and mean, like and, and blew up a child star at, mm-hmm. at 12 years old yeah, like dealt with that whole thing honestly lucky that he made it this far yeah really mm-hmm. but okay i so i think when when everything this has also happened to me on the other side that's some kind of like with the liberty situation is like i'm kind of a little bit sensitive to the other side mm-hmm. uh because when you have, by the way, somebody, I've said this at my live show, somebody commits suicide every 40 seconds in this country. Yikes, every man. 40 seconds. Wow. So when you're on that other side, and I, when I was in rehab, they were like, hey, do you have any, like, do you wish, do you ever wish to not be on this planet? Do you have any suicide attempts? Or do you have any suicidal plans? Do you have any suicidal attempts? Mm-hmm. So, so being, there's a scale there. Yeah. Where, like, I've literally tried. Right. Versus I've thought about it versus have you started to make concrete plans? Mm -hmm. Like, have you Googled it or figured out there's, there's a scale there, Yeah. but you have thought when everybody is against you, you go, if I killed myself, that would show them. Mm. That's your only, 
It's your only weapon. That's the only one you have to fight back with. Yeah. Which that's not true. Right. To, but that's what you start that's what to your believe. Mind tells you. yeah. yeah. Versus like, what are you necessarily fighting against these pe these people that, f you know, like being being successful and having a family and and never responding. That's that's how you win. Mm -hmm. Not, but you do. I'm gonna put all like. My buddy, I have a buddy that's like in the middle of like being like not celebrity canceled, but like in his job mm -hmm. and like people are digging stuff up from his past. And he, I go, I've least listened to a, uh, what's it called? A um, meditation that was about this is like, like life is hard. We've talked about this before. There's yeah. a bur everybody's carrying this burden and to like get it off yourself and put it on somebody else. Mm -hmm for a second lightens your load yes it did for a second and everyone's carrying around this the, everyone that's commented negatively about aaron carter is carrying it themselves mm -hmm. and for a second it'll lighten to put it on him mm -hmm. and now he's got to carry your pain mm -hmm. and then every it's everybody's like we're looking for a it's somebody else donald trump or Kyrie Irving or so and so, it's it's them. Yeah, it distracts from your load. from yours, and it le and no one is, wants to look at themselves in the mirror. So if you can say, look, well, look at Aaron Carter, he's got he looks bad. He's got face tattoos. He's whatever. It, it lightens thing your there. load yeah. a little bit, right? In in in, in, the, in the most minuscule way possible, but it does. Mm -hmm. And you continue to take it. You can take it off yourself and put it on somebody else. But like with those comments, it's mm -hmm. like. Gosh, man, I, I feel like we say that all the time. And I feel like the internet is, I think, I, I feel like the internet is getting better at that. I think people are getting better at the mm -hmm. internet. I think, that's, I think, I think yeah, people yeah, yeah. are starting to come around to like, oh, this is a part of our lives, I, especially younger generations yep. who grew up with it. Like yep. we, we, as we grew up, the internet evolved yeah. and social media was introduced. Yeah. They've had it. Yeah. I think they, and that's why TikTok comment sections are so great, by the yeah. way, is because those younger people. Yeah view social media as like, let's just play oh it's not a part of it yeah in yeah. from the i'm leaving comments perspective yeah. and from the i'm receiving comments yeah. like they see it as it's just yeah, it's bro, just the internet that's a great way to put it because these people on twitter mm -hmm. that's the older people right like a kid would never say that no not a kid uh, someone that like someone who grew up with the internet yeah i would yeah. never say that right. dude because that's like <laughs> and then like i'm out of here yeah like don't don't you can't play with adults. I think the internet will that's, that's a, great a, that's a really it. good way to say it. You can't, yeah. you can't play with adults. You can't play with adults. I think that uh I think that once like people age out of yeah. the internet, like yeah. the older generations yeah. above yeah. me, above you, yeah. and us even, yeah, I think the internet is gonna be a much better place. Yeah. Just because people will understand how it fits into their lives and yeah. they'll keep it over yeah. there. And you yeah, and you I get like a a comment, somebody says a comment about me on Twitter. Mm-hmm. At the beginning, you're like, this is, I got to talk to my therapist. And then you go, well, how many, like, likes does it have? Mm -hmm. Like, is it, are people, like, related? It's, if it doesn't, it's, my video I made yesterday is irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Like, it's there. Yep. Yeah, but. Right. The. It's all kind of just throw away. Like, it's, it's all, all kinda, just, just do it and move on. Do it I and don't move know. on. Do yeah, it yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And I've, I, I feel like I've, like, a lot of people, like, the internet, it's the, the kids, social media, it's, do, I'm like, I don't think so. The kids are safer than the adults at this yeah, point. Yeah, way safer. They the, get uh, the adults are the ones saying it's unsafe. Yeah, which because to them, from their perspective, it is. God, it is. They can't get a comment and then just put their head on the pillow and go to sleep. No, they're down. gonna think about that comment yeah. instead of like, oh, it's just a comment. Yeah, and I get them every day. Mm -hmm. And I go, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. All right. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Anyway, what yeah. else we got? Should we get to the last thing or no? We might be out of time. I think we're good. Well, no, Lydia. I have a confession to make. Oh, okay. oh no. Oh, okay. Lighter hearted. Hold on. Aaron Carter mm -hmm. was my first crush. In fact, I have <sighs> an Aaron Carter Barbie doll. And the rats aren't with me here in Nashville, but the Aaron Carter <laughs> Barbie doll <laughs> made it. In fact, he's in your garage. It is? <laughs> yes. <laughs> because you're storing, you have some of my storage bins. And he left the note on the car. And Full Aaron circle, Carter, dude. The mm -hmm. doll. Wait, That's you have an Aaron Carter cool. doll? It's a Barbie doll, yeah. From because I was born in '97. Okay. Aaron yep. Carter's like he was, was your around guy around that time. It was like 2003. I was five, six. Seven. He's like our Britney Spears. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And I had an Aaron Carter notebook composition, like 
crayon box in elementary school. Did you, Lydia, this is forever. You're saying these things publicly. Yes. <laughs> I was in I'm just like, I stand up just for this. Yeah. All right, hold on. It was, you have an Aaron Carter what? Uh, no, like Aaron Carter school supplies. I was yeah. in love with Aaron Carter. Did I think my first like dream about ha- like a boy was probably Aaron Carter. Your first dream about a boy was Aaron Carter. Like I had a boyfriend and it was Aaron. Maybe Peter Pan too. But like <laughs> Aaron Carter. Yep. And he's we love him. I'm just gonna say, Alex. Yeah. If if my public persona was at a place where I could sell school supplies with my name on it. Oh my goodness. I would. Yeah. I would yes. do what you absolutely want when you pop. And if yes. there was Aaron Carter, if you in Bentonville, Arkansas, mm-hmm. could go to Walmart mm-hmm. and there was an Aaron Carter notebook, dude, you win. Oh my I goodness. Mean, you win. Yep. He you also won. Kind of was school age. Yeah. Like you he, he Yeah. Was like you 12. win. So, <laughs> which is, I think, is what the part of the problem was because he, like, his parents sound like uh, embezzled his money. Yeah. And it, but if you. If you got to Walmart, oh my gosh, man! And Walmart in Bentonville, yeah, you win, you win, yeah, you, you that's a W, yeah, W, you did it, you did it. Real There's legend. a small Little group legend. of people who Feeling have made gone. it to that level. That's a gr- actually, that's a great story. Yeah, that's a great story. Cause I like that. I, yeah, get, like my book is in like Walmart. Mm-hmm. It's like they were like Walmart is gonna pick Carry it up. It. Yeah. That's the way that you got it. That's so cool. I think at Walmart, it's at Walmart.com. Uh, I don't think it's in the store. I mean, but that's my hometown. Basically. Bentonville, Arkansas. It's a step. If you, like, what? Who the, the Travis Scott is like a meal at McDonald's. Yes. You win. Yes. You win, yep. dude. Oh, there's like like Fluffy, the uh, uh, Gabriel Iglesias, the comedian. He yeah. had like he had like pop-up stands at, in, in the mall, like mall kiosks. Wow. With merch. <laughs> you win, dude. <laughs> Kylie Jenner has a thing in every airport. Dude. In every one. Yeah. You, oh, Kylie Jenner. Well, she's winning. Yeah. Oh, nobody goes there. It's there. Yeah. <laughs> they paid her to put it there. You, Aaron Carter. That's unbelievable. Yeah, that's a, look that's at a, this. Pocket folders on display. Yeah. Carter Vintage School Pocket Folders. You win. Wow. You win. So, had those, so if the rat, the girl with the rats shows up to ninth grade, but also has Aaron Carter, uh, <laughs> She gets a pass. <laughs> we'll call it we'll let her hang. She's got we'll American flag either. flames on her car too. We're All right. Gonna, we're All right. We, should we get to the one more? We get to the one more thing. Okay. About let's get to the end. All right. Let's get to the fact checks. We'll cover those couple fact checks. Yeah. Let's get a couple of those. Are you um, gonna stay, Lydia? Or you gotta go. Oh yeah. Sorry. Oh yeah. Okay. Lydia's in. All right. We got a couple more uh, things. We talked about last week about the Chick Fil A. Um, True, Kathy invented the chicken sandwich. Right. And we kind of went off on a little thing. Uh, we're, you know, what we're trying to do good at. Hmm. There's so many new people coming to this podcast every week. Yeah. We try to explain the things that we've had in the past. Yeah, if you're new to the podcast, don't go back and start at one. Yeah, we don't want you to have to do that. Start right here. Yep. Come on board with us. Get on with the get on the ship. You'll learn the inside jokes as we go. Yeah, so we've got promise. a lot of things. So I try to if we talk about something, I try to explain where it came from. Mm-hmm. So last week the guy chick the true Kathy said he invented the chick. We didn't invent the chicken, just the chicken sandwich. Right. And I got there's no way you invented the chicken sandwich. Right. So there's a couple of people commented. What's this one say? So this is an email from Caroline B. Okay. She says, hey, John, I listened to your podcast this week about Chick-fil-A inventing the chicken sandwich, and it reminded me of a restaurant in Savannah, Georgia, that claims <laughs> to have invented the chicken finger. <laughs> it really is the best chicken fingers in town, but it's a high claim. I'm sending screenshots from their website. Uh, here they are. And so, Stellar. So Stellar here they email, are. This the is a, yeah, that's a good submission. So this is a restaurant called Spanky's. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, that draws it into question. It says but, how uh, Spanky's original chicken fingers were invented. Yeah, and it it starts out by saying Spanky's Pizza Galley and Saloon. So first of all, it's a pizza place. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, began, name, name Spanky's yeah. in Savannah, Georgia. But began right. as a dream hatched over forty years ago by yeah. uh, Ainsley Williams and brothers Dusty and blah, 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 blah. so okay. basically they're just saying forty years ago. Okay. Uh, they're saying that they invented the world's first chicken finger. Okay. And uh, they also go on, if you scroll down, to say, if you still don't believe us, head on over to our bar and check out our designation in the official United States congressional record. So they're saying, we got receipts. I don't know if I can argue with that. I mean, we're going to have to go to the bar. If they said in the congressional record that they invented the chicken finger. All right, what was happening with chicken 
<laughs> from <laughs> in the 1940s <laughs> from when they started <laughs> chicken it was only the 80s yes yeah it was Good. wow that's yeah. scary to think about but yeah wait but i remember i remember that chicken wings came in my lifetime. In your lifetime stop yes it. no 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 like it they became at like places chicken wings invented no i know they're invented before me but like came, like the car was always invented but like Henry oh, like Ford they became like a common menu item. like at a at a place got like it chicken wings got it because you know there's you know how many wings are on a chicken how many well that there's no six because each wing has this part this part and this part and those are the things that you i'm that pretty sure notes. i looked it up one time because i was like is a chicken sandwich am i killing a whole chicken for this you, there's two breasts on it so mm -hmm. that's two and then you're okay lydia and then there's six <laughs> saying nice. she goes nine. Nah. <laughs> No, because like, they're like. <laughs> Lydia, Sorry. this is nice. Uh, we're not. We can't delete things. Nice. <laughs> Can you make the title of the podcast that? <laughs> nice. Nice. Three E's. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was just the hand gesture. That He's crying, laughing. dude. You got him. <laughs> Yeah, they had two breasts. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like the, so they have like the the, uh, the drumstick, right? And then the, and then the two. Uh, look up a chicken diagram of a chicken. Okay. Like what is in it? What is in a what pieces? And then the the McDonald's nuggets. That's just like the rest of the stuff in the blender. But the four there's the two breasts. This I think there's uh, go to like a diagram. All right, here we go. Four. There's this part and this part. Yeah, so you get a... Right, uh, I thought there was this part, this part, and this part. Two drumettes and two flats. That's what you get. And on the wing. So you're getting basically a bicep and a forearm. So if you kill a chicken... Is it weird to say it like that? No, I think, no. if you kill a chicken... <laughs> you just looked at me like, oh, you nice. humanized it. Nice. nice. <laughs> if you kill a chicken, because the Chick-fil-A, I worked there, you the, they have the chicken breast. It, was in, it comes in like a ball, okay. and you have to run your thumb through the middle of it to separate the tendons to make it into like a where you can put it on a sandwich mm. it came like this because after you know like a achilles heel when you snap it it rolls up into your leg yeah and it, yes it, yeah you have to separate it with your thumb anybody that works at chick-fil-a would know this duh and then yeah, duh, and then you got i don't know how many i don't know how many yeah there it is here it is all right so you got the chicken breast which all right so those legs on the bottom those are those are those are not wings these the wings are the top Right. What are those two things? These are legs. So where do those go at Chick Fil A? They don't even want those. That's the thigh. They got the thigh. Those it just go like... into nuggets. Do you think? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure everything just gets mashed up and put into nuggets. But yeah, but the the, the legs. So that they don't offer that'd that. Be the, that'd be the that'd be the drumstick, I guess, right? But they don't have those at Chick Fil A. So they oh, there we go. We'll take the breasts and the. Separate them to KFC. <laughs> <laughs> I, was gonna, wait, I was just gonna say that. I was just gonna say the exact same. Like, hey, we don't need these. Yeah. Or they put them, I, I would imagine they could put those into nuggets. Yeah, I'm sure. Or strips. Yeah, I don't think they're wasting chicken. Yeah, so the drumstick are wings. Yep. So the Chick-fil-A doesn't, they have the no, breasts the, and the nuggets. No, the drumette. The drumette is the wings. The drumette and the the wing. But some of the nugget, well, what's it, where's the chicken strip from? The breast, right? It's probably three chicken strips. A chicken breast, how does a chicken strip from... Chick Fil A come there? Does that make sense? Yeah. Anyway, this is a, I don't a, know. a pointless argument. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> why are we talking about this? I don't know, dude. Because this this bar invented the chicken. Oh, the chicken. <laughs> All right, well, go to the other guy that said he invented something. All right, so this other one this is, is... Mm -hmm. this one is wild. No, not that one. This one. All right, yeah. so this is from uh, <laughs> Jill C. Stellar, dude. Jill says, "Listen to the podcast today with the discussion about the invention of the chicken sandwich." On a similar note. My dad invented the grilled cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, chill. He told, he told this fact to all of his grandchildren. They like to tell others of his achievement. My 20-year-old son told all of his Air Force buddies. Proud family here. Fact check that, LOL. That's what she said. His dad. My dad. This is a human that lives on Earth currently. Yep. My dad, who must also be alive, invented grilled cheese. Mm-hmm. And if you Google who invented the grilled cheese, it mm. says, although no one can pinpoint the precise this origin guy, of grilled cheese, the sandwich can. became popular in the 1920s. 
So timeline doesn't really stack up there, Jill. Speculate some enterprising individual came up with the idea to make grilled cheese sandwich, but the idea quickly spread commercially as well as in the home. So like, was there cheese sandwiches before? And then they just dropped one on a grill by accident? And then they go, hey, yo, I think we got something. Might have something here, guys. <laughs> Someone call Congress. That's stellar. Anybody, that's like one of the, remember I was talking about the golf course last week? Yeah. About the guys like, Tiger Woods can't play here. Yeah. Like, you're like my dad invented the grilled cheese. And then everybody in the family is like, he invented the grilled cheese. And then, no, like, no one ever checked him on it. Yeah. And then they go, yeah, I think he did. <laughs> yeah. like, no, he didn't. He did. No. That's how rumors spread. I had spread. an assigned Southwest seat. <laughs> no kidding, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> Stellar. You're like, no, you didn't, though. Yeah, well, all right. Can't, I, can do, I can't do much about that. All right, we get another one. All right. This is, uh, this is from Isaac T. Okay. What's up, guys? Had a story I thought y'all would enjoy after listening to this week's podcast. As a huge stand-up fan, I was super excited when an announcement came out that John was going to the uh, John would be going to the Strength to Stand Youth Conference to perform the year of his cancellation. Okay, hold on, pause. Okay. Yeah, when I saw the Strength to Stand, I, that's not something I, I would have taken in the last three years. Yeah, so like the Strength to Stand conference. I yeah. go, this must be old. Yeah, yeah. Not that I, I. I Love these kind of things. Of I course. To, I built my whole career on, on, on shows like that. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Of course, to my dismay, it got called off. Dang. And who did the conference get to replace him? None other than oh, the, the recently canceled Kanye West, who showed up to do Sunday service. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> That's a true story. I forgot about that. So you were supposed to speak at this. This is in, this is in uh, I think, Pigeon Forge in uh, yes. uh, Gatlinburg. Yep. It's, but I've done it before. It's, uh, by the way, a monster. Yeah, it's a monster. I don't I, know if it's still going, but I yeah. remember seeing Kanye get announced for it. Okay, I didn't. I didn't know you yet, <laughs> so Let's I didn't. Go, I didn't man. know that they. Yeah. Uh, if John did not know this, he was replaced by Kanye West. If not, I thought it would be a funny humorous story. I I remember. Okay, I remember. <laughs> so when I left my phone on September. By the way, uh, this this week I just celebrated uh, three years sober. Congrats, man. Oh, That's good. amazing. From that day. Because it was November the 5th. Wow. Yeah, which is unbelievable. But I remember not having my phone for two months. Yep. And I got my phone. I didn't have any social media, mm -hmm. but somebody sent me that, that I was replaced by Kanye West. And I was like low-key in rehab for like working on my own narcissism. Yep. And I was like, <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> You're like, oh, this there it is. Hits. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. yeah, this is the article. Well, Kanye West will replace John Chris as a Chris Christian Youth Conference headliner, dude. That would be one of those headlines that someone reads and they're like, oh my gosh, the world's ending. Like, yeah, they're like, this, like, this, this can't be real. I gotta repost that. This is like the Babylon B. Yeah. Like, that's what it says. Like that's it real. Be yeah, but this is real. Hold on, yeah. I gotta repost that. Could that could be the yeah. onion. Are we yeah. sure? That is so funny, man. I, yeah, it was replaced by Ye. I rem yeah, I remember seeing this because I, I was going to go. I was going to go see Kanye do the Sunday service thing. And then, well, Kanye West, they go, hey, there's a gathering of like 15,000 like Christians. He goes, I'll be there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like my scene. Yeah, I mean, say less, dude. Yeah, stellar. That's insane. Kanye West. Wow. I, I wonder how it went. If anyone went, I would love to know how that goes. I'm sure he crushed. Um. Yeah, you want to get to the video mailbox? Yeah, I do. Dude, I'm nervous. I am too. We, so, so everybody what? knows we haven't watched this yet. We we watched the first tw two seconds, and I, I my heart started beating out of my chest. Speaking and I go, of childhood crushes, hmm. Segway oh, Central. Oh man, yes. Okay. All right. It, if all right, this is one of those things. By the way, if you don't know who this is, right. It's not going to matter to you. Set the scene just enough to know who this person is and okay. why it's significant to you. And we've also talked about this. Yes. On the podcast before. Like episode two or something. Okay. I used to listen to a show. I was, uh, we, were, we were very Christian, very sheltered, very homeschooled. We didn't have a TV growing up. Uh, we had, there, there's, a, there's a radio station called 91.5, mm -hmm. which was the Christian radio station in Atlanta, Georgia. On Saturday morning, a show would come on. Oh man, I'm just nervous. Dude. <laughs> a show would come on called Adventures in Odyssey. Yep. And this show was is was an audio, like a, a show, there was like it was an audio show. It was a, it was a I don't even know how to explain it. It was like a podcast pre podcast. Yeah, but there was voices and like there was it was like a you just made up the show in your head. Got it. They had the audio and like there's this place called Wits End. There's this place called Odyssey was the city. 
There was. Um, it's a world. Like they have the it's whole, a whole world. Like voice actors. I don't think they all have that. this anymore. Right. But they were like, you know, they have like the dialogue, and then they have like sound effects. Mm -hmm. And I, there was like a, the Electric Palace was like there's this ba this bad guy named Doctor Blackard. He was like evil. He worked at the Electric Palace. Jimmy, uh, it was a bunch you of know characters. All the characters I know all the characters. All the characters. Connie Kendall was the girl that was like the young girl that it was like again there was no images just the voice and i was like i'm gonna marry this woman yeah i'm gonna marry Off this woman voice alone yes just like how when lydia heard aaron carter right she goes i think it's my future yeah, yeah she had a dream about him okay well nice <laughs> 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 okay so that and i was like obsessed with this fake person yep uh, this voice right and I was like, she's like, there's the old Mr. Whitaker. If, if people know about this, they're gonna, their minds are going to be blown. Yeah. There's the young, like, Connie Kendall was like, in my head, young, cute, fun, great sense of humor. Yep. I was like, this is everything I'm looking for in a woman. <laughs> At the age of, oh, five to ten. Nice. Yeah, in that, in somewhere in there. Okay. And so then we put out the, you know, send in videos. We'll find the net positive in the situation. Yep. And, and so, the very first, again, that we didn't, you didn't see it before. No. You just said, I think I got one. This was the, we got a bunch of submissions. We'll get to all the rest of them next week, but we want to hit this one because we hit play. My heart's beating fast. And within two seconds, we said, oh, we got to cut this off stop and just it, watch it, it on the podcast. Okay, play it. So here we are. Audio's on. Oh, man. John, hi, this is Katie Lee, and I play Connie Kendall on Adventures in Odyssey. Stop, 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 During stop, stop. During COVID stop, stop, in the Oh, I, my, my face is red. <laughs> just from the voice? You're I not can't. Even, you're not even looking at the screen. You're just listening to the voice. I'm having flashbacks. Dude, dude this is crazy. I'm having, uh, what, what, the opposite of PTSD. What's that? Like. Now TSD? Yeah. Like right now? <laughs> like, but it's not trauma. It's the opposite of trauma. Oh. <laughs> PTSD is trauma. This is what, this, I'm having, this is every, this is the wildest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, you ready? Playing it? During COVID, in the beginning, when you did that whole bit on Instagram, I guess, a video you made and mentioned uh, being uh, mm -hmm. that you're okay, being you, you didn't mind as a homeschooler, it's no big deal being home alone, not going out, because <laughs> you were going <laughs> to listen to a bunch of odysseys and be in the Imagination Station with Connie Kendall. I got the biggest kick out of that. And um, I've always wanted to meet you. So I hope someday we get to meet. I understand you actually worked on Odyssey once. How did I miss that? Anyway, I just, um, thanks for the shout out. Dude. I'm going to cry, dude. That's crazy. Dude. I'm going to cry. This is the coolest thing. That's the wildest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> She seems so nice. She's the nice. That's like you know how you like. Uh, I, I've always t I talk about it in my show about how when you meet somebody, yeah, that, like that you like have long like you made up whatever. Yes, and that you meet them and then they're not nice. Right, it's the worst. You get they don't even mo you don't even want to meet them. Right, right. That's the wildest thing I've ever seen in my life, dude. That's adorable. I have a. We're in a relationship. We mm -hmm. were. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. were in a relationship in yep. my mind. Does her voice still sound the same? The exact same. That's crazy. And she said that little laugh. Yep. Sorry, Lydia's in here. She, <laughs> she did that. Good thing she's here, because otherwise this would be cheating. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. She's like, she's like, I was like, hey, listen, I'm committed, but like Connie Kendall. Yeah, yeah. Pump the brakes. Yeah. <laughs> that is, if people are, this is. Should we put the video up or was, oh, we keep her anonymous? I think for sure we. No, nah, we gotta put up. the video up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. This uh, in like so people know this wasn't just the first one we clicked on. No, this is the first submission. The very she first. was the first to the inbox. She's hey, she said she wants to meet, dude. What should we do? I think we should definitely get her to call in. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> That's a wrap, <laughs> dude. That was like just the kindest thing. That's so I said amazing. during quarantine, I've said, I said so the, about Connie Kendall. Yeah. And then she heard it. So, yeah. Just like we said earlier in the podcast. Yeah. They will, it gets somebody, to somebody, it'll get to them. Yeah. It'll get to them. Yeah. Did you, you did work on Odyssey at some point? Yeah. I did one. I had, I was a voice on That's the show so cool. when I was an intern in 2008 at Focus on the Family. What was your character? Uh, I was a, um, look up John Christ Adventures in Odyssey. I had, I was a, I was a circus um, conductor. I go, hey boys, get the ladder over here. That's all I had one line. Nice. Yeah. 
and then uh that was really good though yeah it was something like that yeah avengers and i, I was a one voice but the, it, dude if you that's gonna blow people's minds dude that's to crazy. see that video mm -hmm. i mean that is so crazy man. don't you don't don't you can't send me that submission. You know, I don't need her number. I don't need. I'll just, keep that in my inbox. You keep that. Yeah. Okay. If I'm like, <laughs> if it's like, hey, late one night, I'm like, hey, Alex, you got that? That's so weird. Yo, I need Connie's info. I just want to hear that little. Laugh. I'll be like, no, John. Okay. Hey, can you send me the video? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just want to hear that. Also, her name's not Connie. <laughs> right, I was just gonna ask. Is that her real name? <laughs> Dude, she used to. Well, that sounds. It's like a funny. There, she used to go into this this like chamber called the imagination station. dude you are in the zone right now you know the imagination you don't know it do you know it, lydia no that you don't sounds know. like mickey mouse though. no i imagine she would go into the imagination station of and course. then they could like they, they had this little city and they when you go into the imagination station you could go back to like um like the boston tea party oh cool or you could program oh it's like uh it's like magic tree house yeah and you could go you could go to like of uh, all these like historical events mm -hmm. you could go back and then the characters would be planted in there and like there's like all these scenes from that's how you learn about history that's cool and so yeah i'm not trying not to go into the imagination station with connie kendall Dude, but that's yeah so cool wild there's also yeah, that could take a different meaning now yeah here. yeah probably <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's also a guy named eugene that she was like kind of dating eugene you didn't like him. Nah, yeah, I didn't like no, him. Yeah, no. He was like the nerdy. I was like, there's no chance. Yeah, no. I don't know sure. what happened in the show if they got married or not. He's just a placeholder. Yeah. Yeah. That is the why that's like the first submission, dude. That's crazy. Is that her? Dude, it is her. What do you mean? Are you kidding me? Is it? How could it not be? John can't believe it. Let's listen again. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> it. John, hi. This is Katie Lee, and I play Connie Kendall on a That's of her, Odyssey. dude. During COVID, in the beginning, when you did that whole bit on Instagram, I Not guess, a bit. A video it was you made and yeah, mentioned right. uh, being, uh, that you're okay being, you, you didn't mind as a homeschooler, it's no big deal being home alone, not going out, because <laughs> you were going to listen to a bunch of Odysseys <laughs> and be in the Imagination Station with Connie Kendall. I got the biggest kick out of that. And um, I've always wanted to meet you. So I hope someday we get to meet. I understand you actually worked on Odyssey once. How did I miss that? Anyway, I just, um, thanks for the shout out. Where is she, by the way? In a car. She's in a car at night? Yeah. Yeah, she must have heard it. That is wild. Dude, dude. that's so cool. I don't even know what to do with this piece of information. I'm going to have to, I need, I mean, I got to. <sighs> Yeah, we gotta I gather gotta, your thoughts. I gotta break that down. Yeah, we had like I mean we had like a situation out last night at like Red Door, and then we were like when drive home I was like I need to like process this for a little bit. Yeah, so exact same. <laughs> like I don't I need some I think I gotta think about this. Wild. I wonder where she lives. We have her on the show. We can get her on. Yeah, we get her on the show. Yeah. God, is imagine it, if she's here. This is all too much for me. Get I, her need in to, studio? I need to break this down in real time. I can't. I saw. You know my my response when I heard that for the first time. You mm -hmm. just clicked it. Yeah, I didn't know what it was. It was just a woman in a car. So I pressed play. <sighs> nice. <laughs> All right. This is this is fun for Lucas because Lucas probably listens. He probably listened to Adventures in Odyssey. Those would be good for him for sure. He cool. listens to it right. No, he's already listened to it. And then it's us. Yeah, we come on right after Adventures in Odyssey. Yeah, we come. This is late night. Yeah, yeah, Adventures in Odyssey. Lucas, that that one's for you, buddy. Good night, buddy. We'll I mean, yeah, time. sure, it was a little weird, but on the net, net on the on the, it, it, it was a positive. It was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. But on the net, it's a positive.